Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up your profile on Coursera. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to go ahead and launch your Coursera account if you do not have one. It's very much simple to get. Head over to your Google search uh, bar using any browser of your choice and type Coursera. Head over to the official website and follow the on-screen instructions to sign up and to create an account. Now you can sign up using Google which is pretty much simple and faster, I think. <laughs> so this, once you sign up um, your homepage, just like your homepage, all right, so there's just gonna be a lot of activities, a lot of functions, one thing, one thing, one thing, where you should just click and just explore. So let's hop into uh, today's text, which is how to set up your profile on Coursera. Now, if you check the top right corner of your screen, you're gonna see your profile name or your, your account name so go ahead and click on that and you see the drop down menu it says my courses profile my purchases and settings updates accomplishments and whatever so select profile so now you're in your profile settings and we have to like set this up so first off you have to like share your profile link okay if you have okay just click on this to copy your profile link of course got it okay if you want to share it to someone and here it says um update profile visibility so just click on that it says who do you want to see your profile anyone with my link you can just toggle this on or off if you don't want to be your link you can leave it on if you don't want anyone to be your link if you don't want anyone with your link to see it you can just take it off and click save and then go to let we could just know what role you're looking for to make sure you find opportunities that are right for you so select add work experiences click on add work experiences and let's see what shows okay it's like add work preferences So I'm clicking this out and it doesn't seem like it wants to respond. Mm, okay, let's go back to additional info. Help you just get to know better by describing what makes you great. This added for okay, so here you can add a personal summary, okay. Include a, a few brief details about yourself, example, what are the most passionate thing about. Just fill this out, type in the characters, and then additional links. Okay, you have a LinkedIn profile, you know, add it and then add your LinkedIn um, profile link. And then resume, do you have a resume? Okay, enter a link to your resume or add on Google Drive or OneDrive. Follow the instructions carefully and just click save. So I'm just gonna have to click on this for purposes to know why it didn't click out in the first place. Okay, here it says view the job profile, so add work preference. So it says complete your profile to show you. So let's just click on add work preference here. So this is work preference. So uh, what role are you looking for? Select the role. Let's say um, project management analyst, desired level, let's say entry level, chosen level. You can add another role if you want to or just delete it if you don't want to. Are you open to working remotely? Yes, you can say yes or you can say no. So I think you can say yes. Are you willing to relocate with your home country? You can say yes or you can say no. All right, say yes and then click save and show you save. So that's it. Work preferences added. Head over to additional info. Help users get to know you better. All right. So, okay, so we can just click on additional info and put this out. Okay. Uh huh. And right here it says um, add education. Of course, check this banner right here to see your progress. So you can add um, projects that showcase your skills to recruiters with job relevant projects. You can say add projects here to demonstrate your technical expertise. So you can just select browse projects and add any projects that you have um, worked on. You can just select any. Okay, I'm just going to click out this because it's 
So you can just select any and then follow the on-screen instructions or just go ahead and click close. But you know that once you add your project, you can be able to demonstrate your technical expertise. Go to work history and select add work experience. Now, name of institution, where did you work? Let me add Adobe, job title, uh, data analyst, select month, February, start date, June 21, end date, February, and let's say 2023. Or you can just click, you currently work here if you work there, so there'll be no need for the end date. I can just toggle this off and just allow the end date to be there. And then add a description which includes what you did in the role. So what did you do? I did this, I did that, just fill this out, click on it and then write. Once you do that, select save. And once you select save, that will be it. Now you have to go ahead and add your education. Add your educational background here to let employers know where you're currently studying or where you have studied in your institution. Go ahead and select any university. I'm just selecting anything like random, random. And then um, say bachelor's degree, select discipline in um, education and um, area of concentration. You can just type anything that you want. Start date. When did you start? When did you end? Are you currently studying? You click I currently study here. Cumulative um, grade points average. You can add that to one, to two, to three and click save. So that is it. Um, that is that's just like pretty much it. This is how you can set your profile right here on Coursera. You can always edit it. Like like this um education doesn't go back and remove. So I can just remove this and I can go over to work history and click on the pencil icon and scroll down and just click remove because the details are not they are not correct so that's pretty much how to set up your profile i hope this video helps your search